I know that there are uh, professional communities of um, doctors, professional communities of uh, lawyers, but why not professional communities for frontline negotiations? This is first time when I'm participating in events where I can exchange with my peers, with my fellow colleagues, about how do we navigate through this kind of realities on the ground, um, learn from each other. Uh, to be honest with you, since, uh, since I joined the CCHN family, I have a lot of confidence in myself. You know, I have a lot of, you know, I was doing things without any support from ex other experiences. But now that I can combine what I did, what others have done, it actually gives me a lot of confidence. It is more important to be confident as you enter into a negotiation. Yeah, so that's what I'm getting. The community itself, um, is strong, is a, is a rich community with wide spectrum of experiences, lessons learned and good practices from all around the world, different tasks, different activities. Um, so it's going to be a great opportunity to um, just um, learn by, by being in touch with others. Yet uh, it gives you the connection with others. So. If you need support, if you need, uh, if you need to brainstorm with another colleague that you have met in one of these events, you just uh, drop a line, you make a phone call, and then um, you, you, can, you can share experience, you can ask questions, you can share thoughts. So that's, that's how I see the importance of, of being a member of this community. And I'm so proud to be, to be a member of this community. A community of practice allows people to, to um, talk to their peers at a level that is not as stressful or perhaps not as judging as a relationship with other professionals that are not in the, that particular sphere. It allows people to, to uh, work out uh, some of the dilemmas that they have, the, some of the, the conundrums that they face when they, they negotiate, the pitfalls and also even the failures. Uh, and it's only when you're able to talk about uh, the failures and able to talk about what could have been better, what could have been done, that the, the field uh, or the, uh, the, the professional development advances. What the CCHN does is it gives you a safe place in which you can discuss and reflect not just your past experiences yourself, but also learn about the experiences of others, not just from your own operational agency, but also from the operation, or rather the strategic partners of the CCHN and other important partners. So there's a lot of uh, what we call peer-to-peer -peer learning, sharing of best practices. And some of these practices could be occurring in another part of the world, but some of the issues are in fact transversal. I have access um, through CCHN, I have access to a community of, of people who belong to other agencies, who work with other agencies, who may have developed tools, who have thoughts about different, different tools, different approaches, and then I get access to this. It's not only about sharing tools and get the sense of the usefulness of them, but also we have had lots of very important discussions to uh, to frame all these tools, not only in our particular situations, but in the, within what we as a community of practice, as a network of practitioners, of professionals in the field, in the front lines, what we are, what, what our mission is, what we share in common, what we want to achieve in common and individually.